Okay guys, here's a little quick vid. Uh, out doing some watt testing with the new props that I cut down to size on here. Plus, thought I'd show you the ball turret as well and how I got it working. So anyway, this is the Hobby King ball turret. And it's designed to come down when the gear go up. And it does pivot, it's hooked to the rudder. So it does pivot. I don't have it where it'll go up and down. Right now I've got that free floating and tied down, but uh, I'm, something I'm going to add to it later. But when the wheels come down, the ball turret will retract up into the belly of the airplane. A little close up of it again. With it being hooked to the rudder, I can make sure that it's always dead centered in the rear when I get ready to retract it, depending on what the plane's doing in the time at the air. Coming up. Otherwise, if it's turned to the side, if it's turned sideways, then it'll jam up against the sides of the fuselage. But, so basically I've got it wide to the uh, rudder, same way I did with the, the rear turret. So they're a couple mixed. Actually, they're all that way. But uh, the top turret and the nose turret, I have them on uh, separate channels so that I can also manually pivot them with another control stick since I have more control out of them. Let me zip around here so you can see this. Anyway, there's that. And then, of course, the top turret. Oop, that's the back turret. There it is, the top turret. And I put a little FMS guy in there. I forget which one it is, but he's just cut down. This is one of the little FMS pilots for like the 980 airplanes. And then when they're on a mix, Get which mix it is here and of course all the lights that I've already shown everybody some pictures of the inside of this well I can't see it in the dark here where <clears throat> I used one of the guys ideas here oh it's because I'm using ailerons here it needs to be on the rudder channel I'm hitting the wrong stick but anyway on the rudders Yeah, it looked pretty good. I like the 360 on this. The only thing that hadn't quite got figured out is, is depending on how much stick deflection you give it, is depending on how fast it is. And that's one of the drawbacks to a 360 degree continual rotating servo is, is the amount of deflection or pulse width you give it, it speeds up the rotation. So you can only give it a little bit to make it look scale moving speed on there. Oh, anyway, and of course, our flap deflection, and again, when the gear comes up, all the turrets start rotating, and the ball turret drops down. <clears throat> and the landing lights, which I showed earlier, also retract, so... We'll do that again. Landing light coming down, on, gear down on both wings. Gear up. The landing light will go through the sequencer, retract, and then shut off. I also put the upgraded struts on this one. So it does have the compression struts. I was originally kind of a little, a little concerned that it might over compress and cause this prop strike issue, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So I don't think there's much to worry about there, guys. So I think it'll actually prove to be a very good feature.
landing lights out and of course the ones that I really like are the blue ones on top these things are very visible in the evening time or early morning right at dusk when you're flying really makes it cool to fly And I have a set of Roaring Top 4500 35 C's in here that are pushed all the way forward, not quite all the way forward, maybe back a quarter of an inch from that shelf that everybody's aware of there, and in order to get the stock CG on it right there. So all the stuff that I did to it did not really add a whole lot of um, weight to the back end of the airplane, like the uh, guys in the in the belly there all the lights that i did back here the extra servo that's mounted for this guy the little pilot here that was a little old dynam bus pilot that i had i can't remember what airplane he was in i think it might have been the pby i think um but he fit perfect in the little turret and weighs absolutely nothing since he's styrofoam the only pilot i haven't gotten yet that i'm still looking for is a good looking pilot gunner gunner to go up here i have replacement turrets for both the front and the top here but i can just unscrew these because there's a hole right here i just take this off and plug on the new turret and they have cameras in them for um, doing in-flight filming same way with the bottom turret and the rear turret as well if i want to put all four cameras on it but there you go guys there's my b24 lib you'll notice i painted the nacelles green I have a set of replacement rudders because on the particular livery that I'm doing here, which is Jimmy Stewart's mail call, which is not 100% accurate, otherwise that nose art on this side wouldn't be there, uh, this should actually be flat black. And I do have a set to put on here, but I like the red for the visibility, so I'm leaving the reds on there right now. But I do have a scale set of twin elevators and uh, rudders to put on this that are actually make it livery correct with the exception of I like to have nose art on both sides of the airplane and normally this one wouldn't be on this side of the airplane at all good looking airplane <clears throat> love it flight line RC Nick definitely knocked one out of the ballpark with this one great job guys I love it you did you did excellent talk to you later see you on YouTube bye bye